Hey guys, it's Jay and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm doing something very different on my channel. I am playing a visual novel called Kill or Love. Now it's just a random visual novel that I found off of Steam and I thought it was pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting backstory um, as I've read from the Steam store. Basically, um, our name is Jack and... Gio, I am so sorry that I'm probably going to make you edit this. <laughs> so basically, our name is Jack, um, and we are currently in the hospital. And from what I read off the Steam site, um, our nurse apparently like kidnapped our girlfriend. And we have no memory of our childhood, and the nurse is obsessed with us. I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm just a bit confused on what I read in that description. But basically, this game has to do with romance and murder. Um, so I guess we can kind of get an idea of the kind of character the nurse is. She's kind of a yandere. Um, and yeah, let's, let's just get right into this, because I am very interested in this. This is a work of fiction, names, characters, and... You guys can pause to read that. Contains depictions of violence. There's your warning, guys. <clears throat> Jack? There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack. It's a woman's voice. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. Open my eyes. Oh my. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Chapter 1, Indecision. This is apparently supposed to be just a short visual novel. I don't know how long it is, but it says it's a short visual novel. <clears throat> I know her. Not just because she's my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. What? I can't talk? Or, she can't talk? Uh, is your throat too dry? Hang on a sec. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. She also sit up and puts the cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feeling better now? Yeah. Thanks. Great! You know, from, from that uh, tone, it doesn't sound like we like her very much. <laughs> Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How's your leg? Girl, you get a little too close there. <laughs> Does it hurt? Girl, back up. Are you bored? I'm... I'm alright. Well, if you say so, thank you for backing up. My bubble! <laughs> Tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack? What is it? What's the date today? Do you know? Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd. I see. Thank you. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know? But I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. Anna leans down and pecks me on the lips. Um, ma'am, that's not the bedside manner they're talking about. Bye-bye. Okay, then. That was... Okay, start of journal, August 3rd. I'm going to kill someone. That's morbid. <laughs> Probably. Her name is Anna. What? I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can I do? It would be wrong to let her live, right? Why am I thinking this? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I tested my grip strength today. I wrapped a hand I wrapped a hand around my wrist and squeezed. I couldn't make it hurt at all, not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I'd still have to wait. 
I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Okay, so Grace is our girlfriend, I think. I think. Grace. It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got her involved. What are you doing? Please be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. It calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm so sorry. August 4th. The general is still here, thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, it was such a huge relief. I wanted to write in it right away, but no, I didn't. I have to be patient. I'll only write when I'm sure Anna is not around. Not while she's walking around pretending to patients, pretending she's who she really is. Pretending she's not who she really is. And it's a good thing I waited. She came into the room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it's not like I can hide everything, not after what happened. But at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. And who knows, maybe she thinks I've gone back to how I was before. I haven't gone back, and I'd rather die than be like that again. How were we before? <clears throat> but it would be nice if she believed that. She'd let her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter much. It doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she finds out I'm planning on killing her, so what? So what? I'll end her life just the same. If it comes to that. I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. Oh god. You know what, actually? Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Yeah. Grace is fine, somewhere far away, without a care in the world. And I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only... Only? You can't just end August 4th like that. Okay, so before I start reading uh, this entry, apparently there are four different endings we can get. So I'm going to assume, they didn't say how many like good endings and bad endings are, so I'm going to assume there are two bad endings and two good endings. Two having to do with Grace and two having to do with Anna. Um, do we successfully kill Anna? I don't know. Do we save Grace? I don't know. Does Grace die? I don't know. Um, but this will be very interesting. August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? I might be. The doctor thinks, the doctor thinks that for sure, that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I can do, but he told me to shut up and rest. What are you in such a hurry for? He asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. My next idea was to find a weapon. I hadn't seen anything good, though. I was still looking out for something I could use, but I haven't gotten my hopes up. I mean, I could rip out the needle in my arm connected to the IV drip, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. What then? I can't think of anything. My mind is fogged from the drugs and the pain and god damn it. Why is there always so much bullshit? Bleep that out. I need to bleep that out. <laughs> damn it. Why do I always have to deal with this? Nothing I try is going to work. Wow. I mean, you could bash her with that chair there. <laughs> Just saying. August 5th again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No emotions that- no emotions. That comes when I'm safe. When we're safe. Both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. 
they've set the bones in my legs straight and everything, and it's healing in its past, but it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk. I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It could help me get my strength back. As oh, I didn't even get to see that. <laughs> it's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall, slowly, not in a hurry. They sound like they're wearing hospital slippers. I, I don't know, this could be a wild guess. Is it Anna? Most likely it's a doctor and a nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. It's probably Anna. The door opens, the doctor comes in, and... Oh. And a step behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. Okay. I sigh in relief. Oh. Why are we covering his face? <laughs> That's kind of scary. Um, in a lot of pain, huh? No, no, it's not that, doctor. But, well, make him wait. Unless it's urgent. It's not. Very well done. What, did I have to go to the bathroom? The doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and fine-looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all. What with a businessman? The doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patients, spending no more than a minute with each. He comes to my bed last. Okay, Mr. Friday, is my is my last name really Friday? <laughs> Jack Friday? What is it again? Let's see here. He leaves through some papers and clicks his tongue. Ah, he fell. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh. These substances were found in your blood work. Explain that mystery. What substances? <laughs> Not very clever. <laughs> what were we doing? Grace! Oh my goodness. Getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Oh, sue me. And you, don't do it again. Next time I won't pack you up, you hear? I'll try not to. Wait, you're a doctor. You can't say that. He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. Doctor, how long until I can start walking? At least with crutches. Why are we zooming in on the doctor's face? I don't know. What? What? You... You're a doctor, aren't you? My doctor? The very same. Who do you think operated on you? I look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Why would you be like a prosthetic leg? <laughs> but you were sitting here for nothing. Can't you at least guess when I'm able to walk? I'd rather not. This this doctor is sus. White sus. Uh, the nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? Well, a lot of factors are at play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Plenty of factors can change how quickly you heal. A whole lot. So who can I... Who, so who can really say? I am having such a hard time reading today. I'm sorry. Factors like what? Oh, so many of them. It sounds like Trump. Wait. <laughs> this keeps dodging the question. <laughs> like what? Like, uh... He glances down at his papers. Like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. So, just answer the question directly without having to look at your papers. You're a doctor, you're supposed to know this! Are you stressing over something? Yes. No. No. No, I'm not! It's not like my girlfriend's missing and the hot Anna nurse is obsessing over me. No, doctor. I'm not. I'm fine. He frowns a little. Well, you'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. 
What are you in? Uh, what are you in such a hurry for anyway? You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything, huh? How do you know that? Oh well, nurse. Uh, he snaps his fingers trying to remember. Anna. Nurse Anna, that's the one. She told me. And yes, I know about you too. Not exact surprise. You're a lucky guy, you know that? Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her take. I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know. But she really wanted to, so I thought, whatever. And she's taking it well, so it's okay, I guess. Back off, doctor. The doctor stares off into space, then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. There's no privacy here at all. Oh, no. I didn't. Don't be ashamed now. I get what it's like. He drops a smile. But... But you can't be thinking of these sorts of things. You gotta rest properly. Alright? Alright. He leaves me a thumbs up. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling, and the other one is grumbling with what must be jealousy. What What are you jealous of? That, that this, I wouldn't even say she's hot, but this nurse is obsessing over me? That's not, that's not something to get jealous over. Idiots. My journal is pressed up against me. My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. I've got to write it now. My thoughts are burning my thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But not right now. She's still out there somewhere. Oh my. Alright guys. So I'm going to try to make this every five chapters, or not every five chapters, every five days um, in the game. So right, right now we're on August 6th. We'll pick up August 6th in the next video. Um, and hopefully by the end of the next video we should be in probably chapter two, two and a half. Um, but yeah guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. This is actually pretty interesting so far. It's a little sketchy. That doctor is really sketchy. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, so much. Uh, and I hope to see you all in the next video. If you guys want to see more, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe. Comment below what you guys want to see. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. And until then, take care. Be sure to turn on that notification button to be notified every time I upload and make sure you follow my social medias down in the description below to keep up my life because I overshare too much. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye guys.